now let us discuss about operating system design and implementation there is no special method to design and implement the operating system we have different types of operating systems like single user system multi user system multi programming system time shared system batch system for each operating system the design will be different as well as implementation will be different so we can say that there is no special method in order to design and implement the operating system but there are two types of goals while designing operating system the first one is user goals second one is system goals or designer goals so first let us see about user goals so the user goals are convenient to use easy to learn reliable safe and fast whereas the system or designer goals are easy to design the operating system easy to implement the operating system so easy to maintain the operating system it should be flexible reliable error free and efficient but there is no special method but there is any method in order to implement all these goals so only few goals will be implemented but there is no specific method in order to implement all these goals so that's why we use some uh, software engineering principles such as mechanisms and policies so now let us see about operating system mechanisms and policies so these two are software engineering principles so first let's see what is a policy policy specifies what will be done whereas mechanism specifies how to do that so let us assume that our policy is assuming an app for x colleges so this is our policy so in order to implement this policy we use various mechanisms like we know that any project is implemented with the help of requirement analysis next to designing coding implementation testing so that is nothing but implementation policy so that is about uh, what is policy and what is mechanism so policy means what will be done so today our target is developing an app for x colleges so how to do that policy by all these pages like requirements analysis designing coding implementation and testing okay and uh, here our major aim is uh, the important principle is separate the policy from the mechanism so we need to uh, we need to separate both policy and mechanisms so those two should be independent so why because the policy may change over the time and this would lead to change in the mechanism so let us assume that after one month our target is developing a app for y colleges developing a app for y colleges if policy as well as mechanism both are different then with minor modifications in the mechanism we can implement that policy why because here what is our target developing an app for the y colleges so x colleges and y colleges may have uh, several common features so that's why it is better to separate better to separate policy from the mechanism uh, let us take an example we have two types of processes such as cpu process io process so cpu process means that process will requires more cpu time whereas io process means that process requires more io time so let us assume that today our policy is giving more priority to cpu process and less priority to io process so that is our policy today now whereas tomorrow our policy may be giving more priority to io process and less priority to the cpu process 
so if policy and mechanism both are separately separated then it is very very easy to implement so that is the point here and this is about uh, designing so till now we have seen about design uh, so here we have two types of goals but there is no specific method to implement those goals so that's why we are using some uh, software engineering principles and uh, uh, mechanisms and policies now let us see about how to implement the operating system implementation of the operating system in the olden days in order to develop the operating system in order to already designing is over now our target is implementing the operating system in the olden days we will use uh, assembly level languages in order to implement the operating system but nowadays we are using high level programming languages like c c++ and java in order to implement the operating system so nowadays operating system code is written with the help of high level high level high level programming languages like c c++ and java now let us see about advantages of the high level language as well as disadvantage of the high level language so the advantages are code is written very faster why because we know what is high level programming language it is in the form of english alphabets digits symbols so we can remember that very very easily so we can write the code very very faster and one more advantage is easy to understand the program suppose if other person sees our program then he can understand the program very very easily why because it is in the form of alphabets digits symbols and it is very very to debug so if there are any errors so we can correct them very very easily and we can check whether it is producing a correct results or not very very easily and the disadvantages are it is less speed the speed is less when compared with assembly level languages assembly languages are very faster whereas uh, high level programming languages are less in speed and increase the storage increase the storage so in order to store a high level language program we require more storage than for the assembly level language so this is about operating system design and implementation